today's topic is electrical energy and efficiency we will work out some problems today's information is about the scientist jule his full name is james prescott jule from uk physicist born on 24th december 1818 in 1838 at the age of 19 he constructed an electromagnetic engine in 1841 he designed a experiment to establish the relation between current resistance and heat in a conductor this relationship is known as joule's first law in 1847 he met william thomson during one of his presentation at the british association in oxford and collaborated with him to conduct several studies on thermal effects they discovered the joule thomson effect and absolute scale of temperature in the year 1854 his wife and son passed away after this unfortunate incident she lived as a widower for the rest of his life tirelessly the british government granted him 200 pounds sterling as pension for his lifetime work and achievement he died on 11th october 1889 71 years he lived in this planet still he is living in the form of unit the great jewel now we will see the energy and efficiency so electrical energy energy is nothing but energy is the ability to do work electrical energy is required to the movement of electrons in a conductor its energy is rapidly required Since energy is nothing but d into i into t, where d into i is the power, power into time. And simply v, we know that voltage, voltage is char- energy by charge, i is charge by time, into time will get joules. Power is equal to joules per second. So power into second is equal to joules. In commercial we use one kilowatt. We are paying electricity bill for kilowatt hour, one unit, one kilowatt is one one unit, or thousand watt hour. The next term is efficiency. We know it very well. Efficiency is equal to output by input. The total energy is equal to useful energy plus losses. The only device which gives maximum efficiency is transformer because it does not have any moving parts. That's why its efficiency is about 90 percentage. Here, total energy is equal to W T. Therefore, W T is equal to useful energy plus loss. So, input is equal to output plus losses. Therefore, efficiency is equal to Output energy in a given time divided by input energy in the same time. Then we say the overall efficiency. We are combining cascade and something, pump and motor, or generator and motor. If a motor efficiency is n, if the simply is eta, this is the motor efficiency. This is generator efficiency. The overall efficiency is equal to motor efficiency into generator efficiency. This information is available in all textbooks. Please refer. First problem: A 2 hp electric motor has an efficiency of 80 percentage. Find A its electric power input in watts. B its energy consumption if it runs continuously for 10 hours. C the cost of energy consumption if the cost per unit is 2 rupees 25 paise. And B, the current carrying capacity of its connecting wires, if it is operating from a 220 volt DC supply. In this problem, the motor power is given 2 hp, and the efficiency is given 80 percent. Yes, we convert it to 0.8 per unit, and the operating voltage is given 220 volts DC. It operating at for 10 hours. The tariff is given for unit is two rupees twenty five pounds. We have to find there are four part one part part first part. We have to find the input. This is one. So H P two into seven forty six will get thousand four hundred ninety two watts. Efficiency is given point eight. We can find the input is equal to output by efficiency. Thousand four hundred ninety two divided by point eight will get 865 watts. Input is 1865 watts. One is part one is over. A is over. This is A. 
Next is what is its energy consumption? So energy is nothing but whatever hours is given 10. So 1865 into 10, 18,650 watt hour. So here in kilowatt hour, 2 rupees 25 pies per kilowatt hour. Therefore we have to convert into kilowatt hour. That is 18.65 kilowatt hour. This is the second, that is B. Answer is B. The third is, we have to find the cost of energy consumption. That is given 2 rupees 25 pies. Now we know it, 18.65 into 225, we will get 42 rupees we have to pay for 10 hours. This is D. This is C. Next we have to find how much current the connecting wires will carry. We know that power B is equal to B into I. And we know the power 1865 divided by the operating voltage is given 220. We will get 8.5 amps. Second problem, a room measuring 5 meters into 5 meters into 4 meters has to be heated by keeping the inside temperature 15 degrees centigrade higher than that of incoming air. The air has to be renewed every half an hour. Specific heat of air is equal to 0.24 kilocalories per kg per degree centigrade. Density of air is equal to 1.27 kg per meter cube. Find the radiator heater, neglect radiation losses. In this problem, the room dimension is given 5 meters into 5 meters into 4 meters. So we can easily find its volume. The inside temperature is given 50 degrees centigrade. The air has to be every half an hour and specific heat of air is given 0.24 kilocalories per kg per degree centigrade and air density is given 1.27 kg per meter cube and to know one thing heat in kilocalories kilo is equal to joule by 4.196 1 joule is equal to 4.196 into calories that we have to know and we have no heat required is equal to mass of air into specific heat into temperature. These two formulas are very important. So first we have to find the volume of the room. 5 into 5 into 4 is equal to 100 meter cube. Mass of air charged every second. It is given half an hour. So we have to convert it to second. This is 100 into 1.27, this is the volume of the room, 100, into 1.27, 1.27 is air density, divided by 30 into 60, that is seconds. We will get 0 0.70 kg per second. Then heat required is equal to mass of air, mass of air charge every second is equal to 0 0.070, then specific heat of air is given 0.24 into the temperature is given 15 degree centigrade so we will have we found 0.252 kilocalories per second so which is in kilocalories per second we have to convert it to joules so conversion of joules is 0.252 into 1000 because it is in kil kilo so I multiply it 252 into 1000 into 4.186 I will get in joules so 1 watt is equal to 1 joule per second the answer is 1055 joules per second that is equal to 1.055 kilowatts the rating of the heater is 1.055 kilowatts is the answer The third problem, an electric lift in the college makes 10 journeys per hour. A load of 5 tons rises by it through a height of 25 meters and it returns empty. The weight of the cage is 0.5 tons and that of the counter weight is 2.5 tons. The efficiency of the hoist is 0.85 
and that of motor is 0.8. Calculate the energy consumption per hour. We have to find what is the energy consumption per hour. In the third problem, the load is given, that is 5 tons. And the cage weight is given, 0.5 tons. And the counter weight is given, 2.5 tons. And the lift takes a journey of 10 journeys per hour, which is given. The height is given, 25 meters. So here, every value is given. The fast efficiency is given, 0.85 and the motor efficiency is given 0.8 first we have to find the mass what is the mass while the lift is moving in the upward direction that is total mass moving in the upward direction minus total mass moving in the downward direction while well, in the upward 5 plus 0.5 that is 5.5 in the downward the counter weight is 2.5 5.5 minus 2.5 is equal to 3 tons that is equal to 3000 kg Similarly, what is the mass in the downward direction? We have to find that is M2. This is M1. M1 is 3000 kg. M2 is equal to mass of the counter weight 2.5 is given. And the cage weight is given 0.5. 2.5 minus 0.5 is equal to 2 tons. That is equal to 2000 kg. So we know the mass and we know the height. We can find the work done. Work done is equal to M1 into G into H 3000 into 9.81 into 25 will get 7,35,750 joules Similarly, what then in the downward direction is the M2 into G into H 2000 into 9.81 into 25 4,90,500 joules So the total work done is equal to this value plus this value, this value plus this value for 10 journeys per hour so into this value, uh, multiply with this value into 10 we will get 1226.25 into 10 power 4 joules and the overall efficiency we have to find efficiency of the hoist is given 0.85 efficiency of the motor is given 0.8 Therefore, the overall efficiency is equal to 0.68. Efficiency is equal to output by input. Therefore, input is equal to 1226.25 into 10 power 4 divided by 0.68. You will get 1803 into 10 power 4 joules. 1 kilowatt hour is equal to 3.6 into 10 power 6 watt seconds. That we know. That is 1000 into 60 into 60. We will get 3.6 into 10 power 6 watt seconds. Therefore, input is equal to 1,803 to 10 power 4 joules divided by 3.6 10 power 6. We will get 5 kilo watt hour. The energy consumption per hour is 5 kilo watt hour. Problem 4. A house consists of 15 light points of 60 watts each, 4 fans of 60 watt capacity, and a pump motor of off HP assuming that 50 percentage of light and fans are used for 4 hours per day and that the water pump works for 3 hours daily find out the monthly consumption cost of electricity bill based on tariff 2 rupees 25 pies per kilowatt hour in the fourth problem 15 light points of 60 watts Therefore, 60 into 15 is equal to 900 watts. 4 fans of 60 watts. Therefore, 60 into 4 is equal to 240 watts. 1 half HP motor, that is 746 divided by 2 is equal to 373 watts. The total connected load is 900 plus 240 plus 373 is equal to 1513 watts the people are operating 50% of light and fan for 4 hours therefore 50% of 1140 is equal to 570 watts that is 570 into 4 is equal to 2280 watt hour they are operating pump for daily 3 hours 
so 373 into 3 1119 whatever so the total whatever is equal to 2280 whatever plus 1119 whatever 3399 whatever so totally that is 3399 for 30 days multiply with 30 we will get 101.97 kilowatt hour the rate tariff is 2 rupees 25 pies the monthly bill is 229 rupees and 43 pies uh, with this i conclude my lecture thanks for listening